What's good, Jazz family? It's your boy, man, right before the game against the uh, Vegas Raiders. Not enthused, not excited. I'm going to keep it honest, man. As a disgruntled Jets fan that I am, I'm not excited until Zach Wilson gets benched. I'm not, I'm not certain about any kind of win for us tonight. I know the defense will be on point, but they can only do so much. Um, if this dude, Zach Wilson, has another trash-ass game, I don't know what else to call that. If he tucks himself when he sees a blitz coming and he just falls, like, and he doesn't get benched next week, my conspiratorial side is kicking in. I'm sorry, man. You know, you got Buddy Buddy. See, his family is Buddy Buddy with the Johnson boys. You feel me? You already know who I'm talking about. The, his uncle's the owner of JetBlue. My conspiracies, I'm a conspiracy theorist. Let's just keep it 100. I'm going to be 1,000 with y'all. I'm a conspiracy theorist as it is. So I'm like, you see all this bad quarterback play that's not worth presenting for the next week. He's actually showing how inept as a quarterback he is. And not, I'm not just going to put him all on the blame, but when you see a quarterback that's scared to play, I can't even put Ben Simmons involved with that. Ben Simmons is at least playing, unless he's hurt. I haven't checked in with that lately. But when you're scared to play, when you tuck yourself and you see the, the blitz coming, you just fall, like, or you're just waiting to get tackled and shit, and you ain't producing anything positive for the offense. And when you got weapons, like a, a Garrett Wilson, or you got a Brees Hall in the back, or you got a Conklin to throw to on a short little in route for a tight end. When you got like different options and they are breaking away from the defenders and you still can't read that and you can't get the ball out. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about conspiracy theories. So his uncle is a JetBlue, the, the founder of JetBlue Airlines. Y'all can look it up. Y'all already probably know about this, but I'm thinking David Nealman, his uncle, has something to do with keeping his ass in the game. That's where I'm at. I'm like, what the, f you know what I'm saying? Because he's buddy-buddy with the Johnson boys. And they're probably like, nah, you tell Salah, you keep him in there and let him ride this out. And we gonna ride this bitch until the Jets fall down to the ground and crash and burn like we do every goddamn year when we're behind the helm of Zach Wilson. We're behind the helm of Zach Wilson. I'm sorry. I'm hot, I'm hot already. I'm upset. We're four and four. We should be at least six and two. <laughs> we could be six and two. I'm sorry, man. My conspiracy side is kicking in, and I look at it, and I'm like, David Nealman must be telling the Johnson boys to tell Sala, keep that boy in there. Am I wrong for thinking this way? Because I don't see no reason or conclusion of why he's still in the game. I understand that our future Hall of Fame quarterback went down in four plays of the first game. But I don't understand the lack of quarterback play coming from Zach Wilson to keep him in the game. Why not put a... Why did you get Sammy in to begin with? Just, be, just in case... Uh, Zach Wilson gets injured just in case but nothing other than that not bad quarterback play and what about Tim Boyle he, he could be a diamond in the rough who knows we don't know I don't know but I'd rather find that out he might get the goddamn ball down the field instead of throwing sideline to sideline your boy Zach is like sideline sideline Nothing north to south, bruh. East to west. Sideline. Sideline. And, and, and you got a third and 13. You got a second and 12. And you can't, you, you can only muster a yard if, you, if you're lucky. Unless you're getting sacked or fumbling. And us Jets fans are tired of seeing the same scenario go down. So this is my, this is my complaint, man. This is the, the pregame, the preview of what I feel. I don't feel any excitement in the air. I don't feel any enthusiasm. Um, that, 
that rookie, if if that rookie on the other side of the ball for the Vegas Raiders outplay Zach Wilson, then we got a problem. And if they keep him in the game for next week, David Nillman's got something to do with that shit. I don't give a damn what nobody says, y'all. Y'all could y'all could hit in the comments below and say, hey man, you tripping, you crazy. No, nah, I'm being honest, bro. There's no other reason. Yo, if this quarterback on the other side of the ball, this rookie, outplay Zach Wilson tonight, and he stays into the next game, talking about, oh no, there's not gonna be Robert Sala talking that shit. Oh no, no, we're good. We're gonna stick with this quarterback and we're gonna see, we're gonna look at the film. Motherfucker, I'm tired of hearing that shit. I, just like every other Jet fan. You know what I'm saying? You got Stroud over here winning games. He's a rookie. Don't even know the game yet. And he's throwing way better than anything Zach has done in three years. You got Dobbs over there in Minnesota. Just got established with the Viking offense. Winning games. Looking professional as shit. Looking like he can win the game. And did win the game today. And Zach Wilson is over here doing, doing this. <laughs> crumbling and shit when he sees somebody coming around or throwing a bitch over 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 Garrett's head wide open Conklin like come on man so get at me man let me know how y'all feel about this this is a preview of the Jets and Raiders I'm not excited about it but let me know what you think in the comments below about where my mind's at because I'm starting to go there my my fucking tinfoil brain is starting to kick in you know what I'm saying? Because when you start seeing things that don't add up or make sense, then you start questioning what's really going on behind the scenes. Get a flight for JetBlue for cheap, though. <laughs> Holla at your boy, man. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be in touch real soon. And as always, JTS, Jess, 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 let's get it, baby. I'm out.